Hey world, this is Denea Jackson here, um, here to answer a question. I keep on getting this question. Why now did Derek beat you and drag you to save him? Well, first let me say that only Jesus Christ can save Derek, okay? Only Jesus can save him. He has already done that, and now Derek is laying in the bed that he made with the actions that he took. And the only person that saved him from that and can save him from it is Jesus Christ. I can't do anything, say anything to to do that. His actions were his actions. And unfortunately, other people decided that they wanted to take whatever they wanted to do and do and, and run with that. But no weapons formed against us shall prosper on that piece. Why am I speaking now? I've come to confront the issue that says you cannot be healed, that it takes this amount of time for you to be healed, that you have to be depressed, have anxiety, hide your face. Uh, you, once a cheater, always a cheater. Uh, <laughs> you are this and we are this and we are that. You can never overcome this situation. There's always um, someone better. Well, those are lies from the pit of hell. But it's because what we don't understand is that there is a spiritual war going on. So though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. So when we understand it and we understand the, the things that are behind the action and the behavior, then we know that, hey, there is a spiritual battle that is going on. And I've come to confront and to reveal the plot and the scheme of the enemy that says you cannot have this. You cannot be healed. You cannot be set free. You have to stay in bondage. You have to leave. You have to divorce X, Y, Z in the third because of this thing. Well, you do not have to do those things. Just because something is dead does not mean it cannot be resurrected by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the resurrect, by the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. And that is what he did in our situation. So I've come to testify. I've come to be a witness to you. I've come to set you free. I've come to share the, the, the pain and to testify. I know the pain that comes from certain aspects of this type of situation, but that does not define who you are. You don't have to stay in bondage to that. You don't have to stay with bitter roots that says, forget this person, forget marriage, forget all of these things, because those are roots of bitterness and anger, and that requires deliverance. So I've come to be a witness, as my Lord and Savior has commanded me to be. Um, second to that, I never had a desire to come and speak to the public in this capacity, um, and being attached to someone who is a, a great public figure a great orator who 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 presents himself well can be uh, a lot to deal with especially with coming to the world who says you have to look a certain way you have to sit up proper a certain way you have to articulate yourself a certain way you have to wear your hair a certain way you have to do all of these things which I'm not I don't meet up to that I don't care about these things that says oh I have to do all these things i have to wear a certain thing i have to have the right lighting and all these things that is not my ministry okay <laughs> i'm gonna be who the lord has told me to be he told me i am his daughter i am his warrior and he told me danaya jackson arise and testify and speak and spread the word of the gospel and spread the good news that I heal, I deliver, I set free, I resurrect from the dead. He can resurrect your finances. He can resurrect your marriage. He can resurrect you. He can resurrect every aspect of your life because we can do nothing without him. And when we learn that, then we are able to move freely and have the peace that we deserve. So when the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy your marriage, you, your family, you can disarm him with the blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony. You can disarm him with, with not allowing him and exposing 
the plot and the scheme of the enemy that says you cannot recover. You cannot have healing. That you are this and you are that. Well, Satan is a lie. And I've come to, to share that. That is what I have to offer out of all of this. So what the enemy has meant for evil in this situation that has become public is been turned for good. And with that, I will do as I'm commanded to do by my master, Jesus Christ, and I will confront these issues head on. And for those who are have shared that they have been inspired, that they um, are finding strength in their own situations, I want to say be encouraged. Um, it is a journey and a process, and you have the the have the Lord as your shield and your mighty buckler to push through speak with boldness um, speak with no fear be unashamed of who you are and what the Lord has called you to do and the healing that he has given to you no matter what the situation is so that's all I have to say on that again uh, I appreciate everybody who has been inspired who has shown love who is rooting for us and um for everybody else every demonic tongue speaking against us be condemned now in the name of jesus i release the blessings of the lord upon your lives and um i will talk to you guys later bye